is day one of me using the eye switcher to no one. I just want to do a kind of like a before of my skin so we can see how it looks. Now it's supposed to help with the breakouts. Um, and I'm supposed to use something different with the blemishes, but I'll explain all that later. I just want to show my my now. If it'll come out clear. So these are, you know, clearly I have all these marks, which means I've had all these breakouts all across my face. So anyway, I'm supposed to be on it for like six months. So you can see my breakouts that I still have. Obviously, it's only been a week on the medicine. And yes, I do pick. I'm working on that. And I have a lot of scarring, so we'll see how this all goes. And about day six, I noticed my lips getting really dry. When I looked this medicine up, a lot of people who took it talked about how their skin kind of got really dry, got really raw. And of course, the purpose of the medicine is to close up your sebaceous glands so that you don't produce oil or release oil. So if you're not releasing oil, your skin is not being coated as it should. So you're going to get raw skin and dry it out because you don't have your natural oils. Um, so, and some people are getting their hair, hair falling out too. And that's for the same reason. My skin was really dry. Um, so I, I've been using um, a strong moisturizer. I use shea butter and um, vitamin A oil or rail sip oil. And I use hydrocortisone. So they're supposed to use a sunblock because, you know, you're really sensitive to sun over there with this medicine, but it's like I'm moisturizing everything. So my scalp, I'm putting castor oil in it, keeping my hair moisturized, my skin. I'm using, like I said, the shea butter and oils. And then for the rest of my body, I'm using olive oil. So olive oil and shea butter. So I'm trying to make sure I stay moisturized. I am still exfoliating. I'm just doing light exfoliation. Um, like I have these... It, exfoliating pads that I use like twice a week and then I have like my typical um gentle scrubs um that I'll do twice a week and I might reduce that depending how things go but I gotta get the dead skin off so okay so this is day 11. I think in my last video I talked about how like my skin and my lips were starting to get really dry and pale um, I'm also noticing my nose is itching a lot. It's getting really dry up there, which is draining a lot, but it's still itching a lot. Like it's really dry. And when I clean my nose, it knows that um, it was blood coming out. So I didn't have a bloody nose, but when I clean my nose, blood did was on a tissue. Um, so the rest of my body, I haven't really noticed anything so far. I am being more intentional about moisturizing. Ignore my hair, y'all. It's wash day, and I got all these grays up here. But anyway. Um, my skin itself, as far as the breakouts, I haven't really noticed much yet. Um, but the peeling I've noticed, and with it peeling, I'm noticing my complexion is seeming to get better. Probably because all that, all those top layers is just coming off. Um, but yeah, so far that's it. So I have reduced my <sighs> cleanser usage on my face. So. I dry out obviously from using a cleanser, which makes sense because it's cleaning skin. Um, and I know I need to keep moisture in it. So I'm using more moisture, but I'm cleansing it with an actual like facial cleanser like every other day just to keep it from drying out. Um, so far, so good. I also use hydrocortisone, but I was using hydrocortisone because of the reaction I had to whatever I was reacting to. So. But also my vitamin. So I had to stop taking my multivitamin because it has vitamin A in it. And with this, they don't want you to take extra vitamin A. But I do take my vitamin D still, my iron pills, because, you know, I was diagnosed with an iron deficiency. And I take the zinc. I read that the zinc actually helps with the absorption of the vitamin A. Um, so I do take the zinc and I take my isotretinoin. Hey, so this is day 23, 22 for me <sighs> on my skin. So I haven't really noticed any changes yet except for being really dry and pilly. My nose has gone through a lot. It's like, I don't know if it's like 
um, detoxing or what, but it's it's getting a lot of breakouts, which I usually don't get. A lot of my stuff is pushed out of my pores. Um, yeah, breakouts. I mean, I still have the same situation right now. I haven't had any worse breakouts except for my nose. Um, I'm moisturizing a lot, like a lot, a lot. And nothing else on my body has changed so far. So, yeah, lips still ashy, real dry, peely. Um, the rest of my skin dries up, but it's not as peely as my lips. And, of course, my nose is peeling all the time. So, I've added steaming my face. Suggesting, suggesting from my mom. And we'll see how it goes in month two. I go back to the doctor Monday, so I get a prescription for the next month. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't had more breakouts, but I can't say that I've had less. Granted, it's only been three weeks, so like I said, except for my nose area. Um, but yeah, ignore my hair. I have a whole lot of moisture on my face, but my nose. Okay, I pick. But my nose is so I don't know how Okay, it's y'all. Uh it's like all of the stuff is coming out of my pores, but it's so hard. And it was hurting so bad at first I had to pick them. But I don't know what to do. I don't know how else to deal with getting these things out of my pores. It's all white heads. I don't know if I need to get them strips, pull it out, or what. I don't know if y'all can even see this. But it's all white heads and it's like all from here, like my whole nose, basically. And like I've been trying to pick them out, <laughs> but obviously I'm, you know, whatever. But so if y'all know something that works to get rid of white heads out of the nose, and I mean, I need to pull them all out. Let me know. Okay, so it's day 31. I finally finished a full month. Uh, so starting today, I double my dosage of the medicine. Everyone said they noticed a difference. I can't really tell, but this is what I'm looking at now. So I don't know if that really shows as far as breakouts, how I'm looking, but Like I said, my nose broke out a lot, but, and I am using something for my blemishes. So if it looks clearer that way, I am using something. But as far as the breakouts, like I said, I haven't noticed a difference, but other people said they have. So we'll see. Starting month two, we'll see how things change with month two. All right. So I called the doctor. I'm reducing my dosage back to one pill a day instead of two because my skin started getting darker. I don't know if you can tell. And my legs started swelling up. Can't have that. <laughs> so, and it's only been six days. Like today is day six on the increased dosage. So starting tomorrow, day seven, I'm going back to the one uh, one pill, which is 40 milligrams. Um, I'm going back to 40 milligrams instead of 80. And I guess we're just going figure, to figure this thing out. Okay, so this is day... 37, I think. I'll double check that uh, on the medicine. Day 31, they upped up, up my dosage to twice as much as I was taking. I was on 40 milligrams. Now I'm on 80. Um, my skin has gotten darker. Like I was already darker than my hand, but now it's way more noticeable. Um, so anyway, I called the doctor. He said he had never seen anything like it before. I looked on YouTube and all these black women were stating that on the medicine, their skin got like two to four shades darker. Um, they told the dermatologist, of course, they had never heard of it before. <laughs> it's interesting. But they did say that after they stopped taking the medicine, their complexion gradually got back to normal. So I am um, just documenting how it looks. I mean, I still have these, like it's all flat. Um, I have a couple of breakouts down here, here, like on my chin. Um, there's one here, not really too many new breakouts. My nose is all like 
pores. Like I've had pores on like my cheek area, but never on my nose. But after I had that massive break off from the start of medicine, it's this is what I'm dealing with. So uh someone says they follow the K Beauty regimen, which actually helped with their skin's recovery process. So I'm actually starting the regimen now moving forward i kind of already have the products it's really about hydration and moisture so um that's what i'll be doing um and i'll share the products that i plan to use what products i'm already using i'll just use it the way that they recommend it. <sighs> so anyway this is my skin right now